Hello, welcome to my video of the Ava Media LGP Light. Uh, this is going to be the video is going to look pretty bad quality because it's only a webcam I'm using. That's all I've got at the minute. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get this working. Some people are struggling um, with getting it to work on their PC. Uh, it's a single computer only. I'm not connecting to Xbox, P PlayStation, or anything like that. I'm connecting it to my PC, and many people are having issues with that. Um, the videos that they show, they show you to plug the input in and an output. That's the problem for me anyway. I kept when I plug the output to the monitor, I just get a black screen. Nothing happens at all. So after literally 24 hours of trying to work stuff out and multiple installs of the drivers and stuff, I figured it out. I literally just took away this one which is the output and it works you put this one into um, your GPU graphics card at the back of your computer you plug the USB in which is mine's up here um, and that was it and it worked it's now displaying on my screen as I talk uh, yeah so I don't know what's going on with their videos or maybe they've updated the drivers for this or something and messed something up and you no longer require this lead and that's what I think they've done because their next device which is the Extreme U3 only needs the one cable so I'm wondering if they've fucked up their drivers updated these ones as well and now we only need to use this I'm not sure how it's working but this is how it works for me I'm on a single computer I've got two screens and I will go to my desktop now and show you what's going on. Rec Central, and um, there's my device. So you click here and select the device you've got. And I'm caption, so I'm not streaming because their stream software sucks ass. Doesn't actually work um, unless you use the stream engine and go through OBS, then you're fine but their actual stream button thing doesn't work um, alright so these are my settings, that's the current PC, I'm using the HDMI uh, HDMI here, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use there, I haven't got the audio in plugged into the, the, the device so that's just no good for me at the minute, I'm going to buy a lead soon I'm not sure whether it's this one I need to record in-game audio, I'll have to do some tests but currently I have it on this one. I have a microphone here. Um, you can save the audio as a MP3 free file, but it's shit. I don't do it. I was, I did start to do it, but now I don't do it. Because if you do this and play back the audio file from your, for your mic, this is your microphone file, so it should only be your voice. It's not. You're hearing game audio as well. So that's really shit in my opinion um, I usually do this but that's a pain in the ass for Vegas Pro apparently so I've started using MP4 uh, can't really see any difference in the quality they both look shit uh, but yeah this is the setup you click ready and then you just press your button on your device and that will start recording and that's that uh, but people can do like one click or wizard, but I just do advanced and set the shit up how I want it set up. And here I've done my login for the stream for Twitch, and you start streaming with it, and your stream is just offline. And then an hour later, it will come online, and you're like, oh, okay, it's really delayed. And then you're like, fuck it, whatever, it's it's still streaming, and then it goes down again. And then it comes up, and then it goes down, and then it comes up, and then it goes down. It's it's a useless piece of software, it really is, uh, for the stream part of it anyway. This works, kind of. It looks really shit though. Um, but yeah, that's that part. Alright, so now we're going to do some gameplay. And um, I'm bobbing up and down here, and you can see in the centre of the screen there's a screen tear and being recorded. Uh, so if you're top, trying to make like top quality videos, that's really, I don't know, maybe n not a good idea. Um, it could be for the fact that it's just using the one wire or the one HDMI and not a pass-through. 
but I've heard from a lot of sources and a lot of places that I've read online um, no matter how they've got it set up it's screen tearing for everybody who's getting over 30 FPS if you're getting 60 or above or you know 30 or above should I say um, you're gonna get screen tearing uh, you can turn VSync on all you want and it's not gonna help but yeah uh, the video quality kinda looks a bit crappy but it's not too bad um, if you're just starting up like Twitch or YouTube, then you know maybe it's maybe it's a worth worthy device to buy. But for sixty pounds for the light and a hundred odd pounds for the um, live game and portable, I'm not too sure if they're even worth it. You could get stuff onto your computer to do all the recording. But if you've got a low end computer and you can just manage to play games then yeah I'd say this device is for you because that ain't gonna eat away your frames for recording it's it you know it's gonna leave your shit as it is so if you like run at 30 FPS constant on all your games then yeah this is a good device for you you know that's not gonna screen tear it's gonna look nice um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye